Haracha, additions to Esther. 15. And the king Achashbarosh laid a tribute upon the land and upon the isles of the sea, and all the acts of his power and of his might, and the declaration of the greatness of Mordechai, whereunto the king advanced him. Are they not written in the Sefer of the chronicles of the kings of Madai and Persia? Rather, Persiae. For Mordechai the Yahudi was next unto King Achashverosh, and great among the Yahudim, and accepted of the multitude of his brethren, seeking the wealth of his people, and speaking peace to all his seed. Then Mordechai said, Elohim has done these things. For I remember a dream which I saw concerning these matters, and nothing thereof has failed. A little fountain became a river, and there was light, and the sun, and much water. This river is Ekter, whom the king married, and made queen. And the two dragons are I and Haman, and the nations were those that were assembled to destroy the name of the Yahudim. And my nation is this Yashadael, which cried to Elohim and were saved. For Yahuwah has saved his people, and Yahuwah has delivered us from all those evils. And Elohim has wrought signs and great wonders, which have not been done among the other nations. Therefore has he made two lots, one for the people of Elohim and another for all the other nations. And these two lots came at the hour and time and day of judgment before Elohim among all nations. So Elohim remembered his people and justified his inheritance. Therefore, those days shall be unto them in the month Adar, the fourteenth and fifteenth day of the same month, with an assembly and joy and with gladness before Elohim, according to the generations forever among his people. In the fourth year of the reign of Ptolemy and Cleopatra, Dosidius, who said he was a priest, and Levi, and Ptolemy, his son, brought this sefer of Purim, which they said was the same, and that Lysimiachus, the son of Ptolemy, that was in Yerushalayim, had interpreted it.